One more thing that TypeScript introduces us to is classes. Now, classes are something that's not very specific to TypeScript. If you're using a modern version of JavaScript, like ECMAScript 6 or ECMAScript 7 or ECMAScript 2016, um, then classes are part of the new JavaScript syntax. And just like the classes that exist in uh, the newer JavaScript syntax, classes are something that is purely syntactical, which means your code is going to look like Java or C Sharp, but it's going to work exactly like old school JavaScript. So your classes are basically going to uh, create prototype based classes and uh, internally it's just going to use functions as constructors. Okay? So let's take a look at what happens when we create a class in TypeScript and what's the code that gets generated and how do we deal with classes here. So um, let's just think of a situation how we kind of uh, emulated the concept of Java like classes in uh, JavaScript uh, earlier was we used to create functions of this type. We used to create a function called shape. Uh, let's take a um, size and color, something like this, um, right? And we used to create like uh, this dot size equal to size and uh, this dot uh, color equal to color, okay? And we could uh, create something like this uh, let uh, red square equal to uh, red square equal to uh, new shape and uh, pass uh, four sides and red color to it okay and if I just try to run this program and we will see that um, red square is an object which contains um, four sides and red color like this okay uh, but the thing is that if I run red square, if I run this uh, square function without new and I pass say um, 5 and green and I write here let uh, pentagon, green pentagon be square 5 and green like this. If I run this, I'm um, oh, sorry, uh, it's going to be a shape. Uh, my bad. Uh, when I uh, do that, so green pentagon is undefined because we did not use the new keyword when we were using this. And apparently, inside window dot uh, sides and window dot uh, you know color has changed to five and green because now this function shape has run from the context of window and uh, this uh, the thing that we're using this here is now referring to window so yeah things are going a little bit sideways now if you want exactly the kind of functionality that you get from java like classes what you can write down is uh, change the syntax to write class shape and um, write um, color to be of uh, string type and sides to be of number type and then we create a constructor which uh, takes uh, sides and color and then we do this dot sides equal to sides and this dot color equal to color so my sides has to be a number and color has to be a string now if I write um, let red square equal to a new shape and I pass um, four sides in red color that's fine now if I do let uh, green pentagon equal to shape five and green see we get uh, this uh, error here is that the value of uh, type uh, shape is not callable did you mean to include new which is uh, now it, uh, what this really means is that uh, it is going to prevent me from actually uh, creating an object of uh, shape type unless I actually add the new keyword here so uh, the syntax of calling the constructor gets enforced I cannot make this mistake anymore now okay um, apart from that now 
uh, we can actually extend classes. So uh, this is something that's not easy to do with the function approach, but with a class approach, we can write uh, class uh, square um, extends uh, shape. And um, we write say constructor takes only color as a string and I call uh, my super. And inside super, I pass four and I pass color. Okay, so uh, now when I want to create a red square, I don't need to use new shape. I can use new square and just pass red to it. Okay, um, so let's take a look at uh, what we uh, get out of this. Um, let's just run this. Um, let's go to the console. And we know that um, what red square would have been is it's the object which contains uh, size four and color red. Okay. Apart from that, what we can also do is implement interfaces in classes. The interfaces which we have just seen in uh, the last uh, few videos is uh, that if I um, create something like, um, I don't know, interface uh, graphics, So if I have something like interface graphics, um, which has stroke width and stroke color, and if I right click class shape implements this interface graphics, uh, I get an error that class shape incorrectly implements the interface graphics because stroke width and um, stroke color are missing in that. So I'll have to actually add these things now here. I have to add stroke width and stroke color inside my class. And only then will this error go away. Okay. So if I do not have these properties here, it's these errors are going to stay. So which means that I can use an interface, not just uh, to define the shape of a function parameter or an object. I can uh, use an interface uh, and implement that inside a class as well. And then my class has to contain all the properties that are defined in the interface. So and that gives you a rough idea about how to use the new class based syntax in TypeScript. And you will see that when you use classes and you use extends, the transpile code is a pretty huge mess of things. Um, so basically your uh, shape function is somewhat like this. This is your uh, square function, which uses a extends function to extend itself. And there is this extends function, which, you know, does a whole lot of stuff internally to generate the prototype of shape and generate the prototype of square from that prototype. Okay. So after all that is done, uh, we get this uh, up. Okay. So yeah, I guess that's it about classes. Uh, we can delve deeper into that in some of the next videos. Thank you.